You gotta focus on your- If you wanna- Cool. You'll make it this time. I just know it. You nailed it! But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. All right, then. You heard her. Hey, here, over here. I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the ex same deal as before. the hang of wind gliding next easy you've flown this way before once you've passed this final stage you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license just keep thinking about that license ready <laughs> by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. What's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. <laughs> Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on. We should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something... It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be quick? Let's keep going. <laughs> the 
Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The Hilly Trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the Hilly Trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily. Hilly Trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the Hilly Troll camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village, but the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today, oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong read. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry, as soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! One way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt himself. So, what do you say? Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that glide...
sister and chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be a raptor. You can't escape. <laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high and quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grandmaster gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Thelonious Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! <sighs> You're right. Uh, he's right there in front of us. If only we could glide across. <gasps> so how did he get across? Hmm, I don't see a mechanism, and I have good eyesight. Besides, there's nowhere on the cliff that you could build one. Bye-bye, kiddo. We can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But, but... Don't worry. I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor can do it, I can do it too. Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animal God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. Ha-ha! <laughs> sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left! Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was a gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. Be my witness, Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... Wait, stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... The wind, the wind says I will make it! And that's good enough for me! Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding 
Though. You are an Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wing gliding championship. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me out there, on my own, gliding around. <sighs> it's kind of boring. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. and wins, your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the animal god to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out! Marvelous! I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What? should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Pirate lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure! But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kyle, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow, great! Please keep it a secret. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Well, let's go to the Adventures Guild and see if we can find out more! We're not here for something that boring. We are looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. That's what Paimon said. It's a super epic sword. Anyway, it's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see. Uh, my intel? Still 
Oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well, nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that, what's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian... Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the black market. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles. Ooh, no problem. how important the network is. joking. Hmm. Take this more seriously, Kaya. <laughs> this riddle is hard to figure out. Clear spring. Is it referring to Springvale? Passion rushing through the clear spring. So when does passion rush through a clear spring? Not a bad idea. Like when uh, there's a waterfall, for example. It appears the solution to this enigma relates to the waterfall behind Springvale. Only the clear spring that blesses Mondstadt can reveal the passion described and the parts of the waterfall must refer to the clear the I noticed it once when I was out on patrol in the area. The ending, cold and alone, probably has something to do with cryo, which can be controlled by a vision. You should probably take someone who can manipulate cryo with you. It's nothing. If a knight of Favonius couldn't even answer a riddle, how could we be trusted to solve criminal mysteries? Let's go take a look in Springdale. We'll leave you to your criminal mysteries. Um... Uh, no, wait! Um, leave you to solving your criminal mysteries. 
Hello? May the animal archon protect you.